Hi, Simon here, and I'm putting together a series of videos for my Patreon backers. I'm going to be answering some kind of pretty common questions that I come across every day. And the first one is, should I write my own game engine? My answer to this is if you're asking the question, the answer is probably no. I wrote Maya's game engine back in, well, starting in 2012. And the reason I did this is because I had a series of things I wanted to do, such as plants growing in real time based on light from the renderer, or things like deep multi-threading where thousands of objects are being processed at once, or fluid simulation, uh, you know, uh, and s supporting platforms such as Mac and Linux, which weren't commonly supported by most game engines. And back then, most game engines cost a lot of money. Unity was cheap, but it was terrible. Unreal Engine was still hundreds of thousands of pounds. Cry CryEngine, I think, was license only. And a lot of the other engines, like Talk, were technically not up to scratch. Um, so I had to write my own engine. Uh, I didn't write it entirely from scratch. I used a base of SDL, which is a windowing library. And I also used um, FMOD, which is a sound library, because writing your own sound library is a giant waste of time. But for anyone else who's writing their own game, should they be writing their own game engine? Probably not. And really, if you have to ask the question, as I said, you probably don't understand what's involved. You have to consider that you're going to have to be writing an entire renderer. You're going to be writing all the shaders for that renderer. You're going to be writing a maths library, potentially. You're going to be writing your sound library. You're going to be writing your physics. And these are very difficult things to do that people have you know, spent entire lifetimes working on. Uh, so for you to do all these things at once is a, a very large ask. So unless you have a specific issue with an existing engine or an existing set of libraries, you really don't need to be rolling your own from scratch anymore. In fact, you know, many of these libraries have two, two decades of uh, work on them from hundreds of programmers. You're not ever going to be able to reach anything near that. And then there's things like multi-platform support. Will you be able to support the new thing that comes out quickly enough, or are you going to have to wait for these other engines? I mean, of course, I've had the opposite issue. Sometimes I can support something faster. You know, maybe you want to roll your own engine because you want to support the new platform before other engines catch up. Um, you know, that's something you might consider. But really, nowadays, unless you have a game that really specifically doesn't need its own engine, for instance, I worked on VVVVVV, we needed blitting pixels to the screen, we needed input, uh, which we could handle with SDL. We didn't need to use an engine and we didn't need to write an engine. Um, so when I ported the game from Flash, it could be an almost straight up port. I just had to effectively create some of the Flash libraries that we, uh, Terry, Kev and I had been using so we could get that running. So really writing your own engine or part of an engine should only really be viewed as an academic exercise nowadays, or perhaps if you want to uh, do something which you can't do, or if you feel that an engine would be maybe too heavy for your task. What you've got to remember now is engines are not just the code running your game, they're also the tool set. And that's actually more important than the code running your game nowadays, is the ability for your artists to create their assets and to see them in game quickly, and for your level editors to build it and your designers to work from it, and anyone who's scripting to be able to script in a useful language. Uh, these are all things that you need to consider because content is the main problem now, not getting code working on some strange processor. So yeah, the tool set, and Unity has a great tool set. Unreal, I think tool set's probably okay. CryEngine has a great tool set, but has no documentation for that tool set, so it's utterly useless. Um, and again, Talk has, uh, an, it has some tools. Um, whether you need a tool that doesn't exist, perhaps, could be one of the reasons why you end up writing your own engine. Uh, for me, um, I've ended up having to spend a lot of time on tools, writing scripts, exporters, and then as soon as you need to do that, you need to understand a lot of file formats, you need to understand how does Maya, as in the 3D software, not my game, how does the back end of that work, how do I write work on using their API, uh, and then write exporters. So, really, 
if you're asking the question, should I write my own engine? you've got a lot more questions that you need to be asking and once you've answered them then it may be yes but i'm going to bet that generally speaking it's going to be a no and i hope that answers your question uh everyone back my patreon and drop me some more and i'll keep making more videos i'll see you later